Hi and welcome. In this video I will show you how to install Docker on Ubuntu 21.04. For this demo I'm running Ubuntu on VirtualBox and to show you that I'm running Ubuntu 21.04 or if you want to check what version you are running you can go into your applications, go to settings, and in settings go to about and then here you will see os name os type and you see it is ubuntu 2104 and we run a 64-bit version though you can install docker from the ubuntu repository uh, usually the version is behind the latest version that is available uh, it may also be that you would like to install a specific version of Docker. Because of that, I will show you how you install Docker from docker.com. I have uh, opened my web browser and I headed over to Docker Docs. You can simply Google up install Docker engine on Ubuntu and it will be the first search result. Or it should at least be and it will bring you to this page. And as we scroll down, we will see the different steps that we will take in order to install Docker. The commands that we'll be running need to be run in a terminal. So let's go ahead and open a terminal. And let's organize our screen a little bit better and move things next to each other. Perfect. Getting back to the documentation, let's take a look. We need to install all old versions first. And to do that, I will just simply copy this command and paste it in the terminal. And hit enter. Put my password in and step one has been completed. Now we can move on to the next step. So we can scroll down. You will see there's different uh, installation methods. We will use the Docker repositories. So in order to do that, we need to follow these steps to set up the repository. First, we need to run a apt-get update. Let's go ahead and copy that command, paste it, and run it. And then when that is completed, we can go ahead and we can copy already the next command. And we'll wait until the apt-get update has completed, which it did. And we use the next command and install a couple of additional packages. You may have to agree to move on and install. And once that has finished, we want to add Docker's official GPG key. And we'll do that. And also here, copy the entire command. And paste it into our terminal. And we'll run that. Now we can go ahead and set up the repository. We will go ahead and set up the stable repository. Uh, when you go to uh, Docker Docs and read through, you can see also other repositories that you may want to set up. Um, however, we will stick with stable for this demonstration. Make sure when you copy the command that you have uh, the right tab selected. We are running on 64-bit, so we are on the correct tab, like most people probably will. And we again just copy the entire command here and we'll paste it in our terminal to add finally the repository. Great, we are ready to install Docker Engine. Before we do that, we will want to go ahead and run again a sudo apt-get update. And the reason why we want to do that is we want to refresh our package list and make sure that we have everything available that we need. So we'll just copy this and paste it, run our update, and then we can already in copy uh, the command that we will need 
to install Docker and run that and Docker will be installed. We need to say we're okay to continue and once they're completed we should be all set to have the latest version of Docker installed. If you scroll under install Docker engine on Docker docs a little bit further down you will also see um, the way that you can install a specific version if you would like. Um, in our case we just simply went with the latest version. Um, this takes a minute. I will be back once this completed. Here we are back. Um, the installation process has completed. It took a couple of minutes and we can move on to step three. In step three it tells us to verify that the Docker engine has been installed correctly by running a hello world image. However, it says here to run it as sudo, meaning as root. So we can try that. And we can just simply copy this over and paste the command in and run. Tells us it was unable to find the image. It's downloading it from Docker Hub and hello from Docker. So this is successful and we know that Docker has been installed successfully. However, if I try to run the same command as me as a user and not as root, you will see the following error that you do not have uh, permissions to connect to the Docker daemon. I will show you now how you resolve that. To get past the permission error for a user to be able to execute Docker commands, um, we will need to add that user to a group that was added during the installation process of Docker. And that group's name is Docker. So what we need to do is, in my case, because I, as Toby, do not want to run Docker commands as sudo, I would need to add, add myself to that group. In Ubuntu, you do that with user mod dash lowercase a uppercase g and the group name. And in my case, seeing that it is me, I will just use the environment variable uh, dollar sign user. If you have a specific user, you can also type the username in here. And I will enter. And I forgot to add sudo, seeing that this is a root command. And now I was added to that group. And what we can do now is we can try to run the same command we ran before, docker run hello world, but we still will get the same error. Um, if you're adding yourself, you will need to log out or possibly even restart um, your Ubuntu instance. If it is another user, you would need to ask them to please log out and log back in or to also restart their machine in order for the change to take effect. Um, from experience, I know on VirtualBox I've always had this problem. I will reboot my machine and I will be back in a minute. So here I am back. I've rebooted my machine. Let's open a terminal again. And let's run our docker command. And as you see, I do not need to run it as root and it actually executed right away because the image had been downloaded already. If you want to see what images you currently have available, you can just type docker images and you will see the images that are currently on your system and download it. And that concludes our install of docker on ubuntu 2104 i hope you found this helpful and i'm hoping to see you in the next video thank you